Today marks the 11th anniversary of the tragic terrorist attacks on September 11th, 2001 on the Twin Towers. It brought down the Twin Towers and then the other planes that one that smashed into the Pentagon, Pentagon and then another one that just crashed into an open field in Pennsylvania. Well, I don't know if you remember what you were doing at that specific point in time, but I do, I remember it pretty vividly. That day I was actually going to school. I was 12 years old, I was going to school, I was in seventh grade, and I didn't actually find out until around like one o'clock, one o'clock, uh, which was like sixth period. Um, I had sixth and seventh period with the same teacher. Uh, and you know there were eighth periods in total in the you know in the whole day. Uh, that's how the school schedule was set up. And uh, so it was the sixth or seventh period where I found out the teacher asked us if he, we had watched the news in the morning, which uh, you know you could have caught it since I live over here in the in the um, on the west coast. You could have actually have caught it in the morning before you had to go to school or whatever. You know, it's, it's like three hours behind. Um, New York Times like three hours behind. Uh, so yeah, it was early enough for you to have caught it before you went to school or work or whatever. But I hardly ever watched the news at that time. Uh, you know, I was a kid. I didn't particularly care for the news, but he brought it up. He asked us if he, we had watched the news, um, and he said that something important had happened. And there was only one kid who had actually watched the news, and there were like two planes that smashed into some buildings, which happened to be the World Trade Center. And then, yeah, that's it. That that was the first time I ever heard of it. And then uh, he said that it was a terrorist attack and all that, blah blah blah, which was later confirmed. And that day, I got out when I. Um, when I left school, my my aunt told me that there was like some huge uh, terrorist attack and like everybody was you know panicking and stuff, uh, and that they were going to take like very uh, strict measures to protect the country. They were going to basically seal the whole country from the outside world. Uh, They're going to close down all the bridges, and. Uh, also, all the ports and stuff, so nothing can uh, can come in uh, because it's the potential threat. You know, the the terrorist attack might not be over. You know, this might just be like the starting point, uh, and then there might be like more attacks coming by. Um. So yeah, that was the first time, and I didn't particularly care about the news and stuff. I uh, I don't think I did. I actually took it that seriously, but. I mean, I don't know. It's just that, you know, I've heard, you know, I had heard already, like, bad news, you know, bad, about bad stuff happening in the news, but you don't particularly, like, pay that much attention, take it that seriously, because it's not actually, like, happening to you. But, you know, this was certainly more serious than, like, the... all the other stories I had heard uh, previously. Um, yeah, so it turns out this uh, terrorist attacks triggered two wars, Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, I remember Afghanistan was like, um, like a month after that happened, they started bombing with Tomahawk missile, missiles. They started bombing Afghanistan, you know, trying to kill Osama bin Laden and, you know, his network. And then after that, uh, like in 2003, like a couple years later, like two years later, they started the war on Iraq because they said, uh, you know, they were linked to Al Qaeda or whatever, and that was basically turned out not to be true and stuff, and that they made out, uh, made up the story about how they had weapons of mass destruction and stuff like. But you know, I guess they, you know, if they're like enemies and they're like real close by, we might as well, you know, since we're already there. We might as well just like kill two birds with one stone. Uh, that's basically what they were think thinking. I think Bush and the Bush administration. And um, so yeah, but I, I mean, I don't think the I don't particularly agree with the everything that's going on and the wars and stuff. And I think they, you know. 
they actually, to a certain extent, they actually liked, uh, it was actually, I think they actually liked the fact that this happened because they ha that hyped up the people and it angered the people. So therefore that they're more inclined to accept an, uh, military uh, action against uh, you know those countries or whoever the the government pointed at as being the perpetrator of those attacks um, but yeah it turns out uh, Saddam Hussein didn't have anything to do with it um, you know, he didn't have weapons of mass destruction and stuff. He was being a he was being a madness, but you know that's just him. You know he's always been a menace, or up until the time where they hung him. Um, so yeah, and they said it took a while. I remember the teacher telling us that it, it was going to take a while for the U.S. government to ta take action. Because, you know, all those people that died or that were injured or affected in one way or another uh, were not going to get, you know, compensation from the insurance companies because the insurance companies don't uh, they'll actually pay reparations for um, whatever happens if it's an act of war. In case of a war, insurance companies don't have the obligation, you know, to pay for whatever they were insuring. And so if it's an act of war, you're, you know, stuck to fend for yourself. Uh, you can't really get money from the insurance companies. Maybe they changed that law or whatever, or those rules. But that's what he told me, at the, that's what he said at the time. And um, so yeah, that's why actually they're waiting for a while and stuff. Even though the strike, the retaliation happened rather quickly, uh, within a month, you know, to, for Afghanistan and stuff. Uh, but the main thing, the more you know, um, a more like full scale war was when they went into Iraq. You know, that took a lot more manpower and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it, but I mean, I think there's been a lot of demonizing of Muslims and stuff, which I didn't think it should have happened, even though, you know, they always say like, these Muslims or, you know, the Muslims over there are just the extremists and stuff like that. But you know, people when they watch the news, they're not going to pay attention to like, you know, they're not going to pay attention to the... Muslim extremists, which are you know just a small portion of the the entire Muslim world, you know they're gonna see all Muslim. A lot of people will are gonna see all Muslims as being terrorists and stuff. You know, they'll only like catch like the most important part of the news, but then not the you know the part where you're supposed to like different differentiate between uh, you know the extremists and the regular muslims or the moderate ones or whatever so yeah that's pretty much it that's what i was doing in september 11th and um, ever since then you know even now they're still hyping up that stuff you know they yeah, september 11th whatever you know if we don't do this or we don't take uh set more restrictions even on the public on the american public you know and then the government was also eavesdropping on you know, telephone conversations and any other type of conversation that the American public was um, uh, engaging in. You know, even now, you know, they're using it to you know set more restrictions and stuff like that, um, which I don't particularly agree with. But hey, yeah, whatever. I know a lot of people don't agree with it. Um, and there's also the conspiracy theorists that 9-11 was an inside job, which I don't really believe that it was an inside job. Uh, although it did help, you know, public opinion towards, you know, accepting the wars and stuff, but... Um, I mean, I think that even if those terrorist attacks wouldn't have happened and then Bush said we needed to go to war against Afghanistan or we need military action or or um, 
you know, war in Iraq and stuff. You know, the, the 1991 skirmish with Saddam and, like, he went to Kuwait and stuff like that. You know, that would have been enough for people to have, you know, people already had it in their mind that, you know, Saddam was, like, a bad thing and they were going to need to take him out or whatever. So I don't think the 9-11 um, terrorist attacks, you know, were necessary to start those wars and stuff. Uh, I mean, I think they could have still, you know, the government would have still had enough support for from the people to actually engage and start these wars. So, but that certainly did help a lot. Um, all right. So, until next time, if you're watching this video, make a video response and tell me what you were doing, if you can recall it, on the morning of September 11th, 2001. Okay, so then peace out.